Okay, mask makers, we're here to answer a question. Several of you are working on mask three, and uh, since we have an elastic shortage, you're asking about putting ties on the mask instead. So I'm here to answer those questions. Uh, for the tie-on masks, yes, you definitely can make masks with ties. For each mask, you're gonna need four 18-inch ties. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Here are our suggestions for things to use. Number one, grow grain ribbon. I know it looks like grass grain, but it's pronounced grow grain ribbon. This is grow grain ribbon right here. It's that kind of ribbon that has the little ridges on it. Okay, and this is a 3 8 We recommend 3 8 A quarter inch would also work, but you don't want anything super wide because then it'll be really hard to tie. So just like we uh, in the previous video, you we cut out all of our elastics first. If you're going to do production sewing, cut out all your ribbon first. 18 inches long. Oops. I shorted it a little bit, but 18 inches long, you're gonna need four for each mask, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how to pin those on, and then I will come back and talk about these other okay. two. So we're ready to pin the ties on, and just like in the other video, you've got your little black mark here where your mask is gonna fold later. So you're gonna pin a tie on here. It's gonna be one corner. You're gonna pin a tie on here to the right of the mark. You're gonna pin a tie on here, just like we did with the loop. These, these ones at the top go on a diagonal, and you're gonna pin a tie on here. Now this is where it gets a little tricky because you've got all this stuff in the middle that you don't wanna get caught in the seams. So my recommendation is just roll it around your finger like this. Make a little roll of some kind. And then in the middle here, just pin it all down so it doesn't get caught when you get ready to sew the seams. Okay? Okay, and do that with all four so that you'll be able to sew. So this one's gonna get pinned in here somewhere. This one's gonna get pinned in the middle somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. You just need to keep it away from the sides, okay? So it's gonna look like that in the middle. And then you do just like we did with the other one, fold it over, put two pins, make sure there's nothing from the inside right on here, because that's where you're sewing. Pin, 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 pin. Okay, then after you sew it, turn it inside out, you'll have pieces coming out on all four sides. Now let's go back to these other two. Um, if you are gonna use a grow grain ribbon, you don't need to watch any more of this video. But if you're gonna use bias tape, I just wanted to talk about that real quick in case some of you are gonna be buying and you're not familiar with bias tape. There's two different kinds of bias tape you can buy. This one is called single fold bias tape. This one is called double fold bias tape. Let me show you the difference. Single fold bias tape looks like this. That's what you see in the package, but on the inside it looks like this. See, it's just two little flaps that have been folded over, okay? Double fold, if you take it out of the package, they have taken this piece, they've taken at the factory a, double, a single fold like this, and they have folded in in half like this. That's what double fold means. So that's already folded for you. Now, what we wanna to do to make bias tape usable, we can't just tape it on like this because the first thing, time it goes through the laundry, this is all gonna fray and it's gonna turn into a mess. So what we have to do, if you wanna use bias tape, you have to take it to the sewing machine and you have to fold it in half like this, the single fold, and stitch. If you buy the double fold, it's already folded for you, but you still need to go stitch it. So let's go to the sewing machine real quick and I'll show you how to do that. So we're ready to sew and make our ties and I've got the single fold. I'm gonna fold it in half. Now if you wanna go to the, uh, if you wanna press it first at the iron, you can certainly do that. Um, and again, because this is production sewing, don't cut your 18 inches off. Start, just open the package and you're gonna sew the whole thing, uh, the whole package in one fell swoop. So I'll just sew a little bit and show you. You just sew down the middle. 
And if you've got double fold, it's already folded for you. You just sew it exactly the same way. So, 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 so. Okay, you get the idea all the way down. Okay, so here's our bias back. tape that we've sewed all the way down. Cut your 18 inch strips, put it inside just like you did with the grow grain ribbon. Okay, so that's bias tape number two. Make sure you stitch it. Don't just put it in like that. Third one is make your own. This is very cool. So what I'm gonna show you is, if you have one of these things, this thing is called a bias tape maker. And you can buy it at the fabric store. They, it comes in various sizes. This happens to be size 18, if you can see that. And that is the size that I recommend for what we're gonna be doing. If you don't have one of these, don't worry about it. But when you see how this works, you're gonna be amazed and you might wanna just go out and buy one. If you can get one curbside at Joanne, I guess. Okay, here's how this works. We're gonna make our own. This is to make bias tape, generally. And so, but we don't have to cut on the bias, in other words, on the angle. We're just gonna cut straight fabric. So let me show you. Now, if you have a cutting board, this is super easy. If you don't, you can still do it. All you need is a long straight edge. And for, if you have the bias tape maker size 18, comes in different sizes, you wanna cut a strip that is an inch and a half wide, one and a half inches, okay? Now you can do this without a cutting board and with just a ruler, works fine too. But if you've got all this stuff, that's great. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is just um, put a little point on the end here. My dullest scissors, of course. Okay. Then you take this thing and you take a pin and you sort of feed that point into the end, if you can see what I'm doing, okay? Feed that point into the end and you push it through with the pin. Pretty soon it comes out the other end. There we go, we're coming in. And it comes out like this. See, look what we just made, tape. Let's go to the ironing board. I'll show you what to do with this. Okay, we're at the ironing board and I'm gonna show you what to do next. Now, the first thing you do is take a pin and just stick it in the end here so this thing is secured. And then, watch what we're gonna do. We're just gonna slide this thing slowly along and it's gonna make, it's gonna do the folds for us and it's gonna make a tape for us. So you just slide it along and you just follow with your iron. Isn't that? about the coolest thing you ever saw. I'm gonna stop here, move it. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Move this, finish the piece. Now, this, um, this long piece that you cut is long enough to make four ties. So in other words, the one and a half inches that you cut, the strip that you cut, it will make four ties. Okay, right off the end, made this beautiful thing. Take it to the sewing machine, fold it in half. You can, you can go ahead and iron it if you want to. Fold it in half and stitch it just like you did the bias tape. Take it to the cutting board, cut your 18 inches, and you have four strips for each mask. Now I've done the math for you, and if you're doing 25 masks, it's going to need, you're gonna need two yards of fabric just to make the strips. One and a half inch wide strips, you're gonna need to cut 25 of them to make 25 masks, and that is gonna take two yards of fabric. So just so you know, that's how much you're gonna need. All right, I hope that helps. Have fun with ties. Okay, mask makers. Um, I need to make one addition to the tape and a correction to the video that I recorded uh, earlier, so. The first thing is, I wanted to just give you a little bit more information about the bias tape maker. Um, I noted for you that this is a size 18, that's actually 18 millimeters, but not all manufacturers use this millimeter measurement. So this, this bias tape maker, you're gonna see it as either a size 18 or it's gonna be referred to as a three quarter. So either one of those, bias tape maker size 18 or three quarter inch, exactly the same. It makes a little strip that's three quarter inches wide that comes out. 
The other thing I need to do is correct what I said as I was standing at the ironing board looking at this. I misspoke. You will need two yards to make all of the ties for 25 masks. However, what I said wrong was this long strip that we cut and that we folded it was going to make four ties. It won't. This will only make two ties because it's only 44 inches long. It'll be, see, here's the first 18 right here. Here's the second 18 right here. And then you're left with this. This is just an extra eight inches. So you need to cut and make 50 of these. Each of those 50 will be cut into two lengths. So that will give you 100 strips, 100 ties, which will work for 25 masks. There, I think I got it. <laughs> All right, have fun with the ties, everyone.